Okay, the Baisai. We'll start Hilchas Yom. Hilchas Yom Tov, the Baisai. Sheshes Yomim. It's very interesting that, you know, that Yom Tov, this is the words of the Rambam that the Shulchan Aruch brings. It's very just as a beginning, as a nice word. There's six days of Yom Tov, and there's one Shabbos Yom Tov. What does that mean? There's, okay, right, there's six days of Yom Tov, two days of Pesach Manatera, Shavuos, two days of Sikkis, and Rosh Hashanah. There's Manatera, the six days Yom Tov, and the seventh one is Yom Kippur. That's interesting. That's a famous Maddish. Anyways, but he begins, Sheis Yomim Ili, Shen Rishon, the first Shvish Pesach, Chag Yishvuis, and I'm told it's only one day, Rosh Hashanah, the Rishon is Shmini Shechag Yishvuis, and Ikrum Yom Toivim. That's called Yom Tov. Chala Oise, Malucha, Avoide, Me'achad, Mehen, is Eloikim and Atoida. Let me explain to you. Yom Tov, you, you only get Malkus. Shabbos, a guy violates Shabbos, a guy is Machal Shabbos. Skila, he does it, memaze it, he gets stoned to death. It's frightening. But Yom Tov, all you get is Malkus. It's a lav, a lav in the Torah. What's Malkus? Malkus, you get 39 whips. That's it. <laughs> no. And it sounds like not everyone could tolerate it. It wasn't like, you know, 39. Uh, yeah. We're out to be best not to get a doctor to see. Is he gonna make it? Wasn't. Uh, anyways, so that's that's. Each one was done with all the kayak. Yeah, whole kayak. So that's called Chaloyis Malucha Avoyde Ba'achem Had Eloike Min Atoyde Shlom Gavon Leisasi Chaloyis Shoyvis Ban Malucha Avoyde Had Eikai Mitzvah Esa And resting on Yom Tov, you have a Mitzvah Esa. Shnei Mashabusir Kishava. So there's there's a lav and there's an Esa. You're not allowed to work. And when you keep Yantav, you make kind of mitzvah's essa. And then any one of you learned Daf Yomi over here? You guys learned Daf Yomi? So, you know, the Gemara at the end of Rosh Hashanah talks about you can't make a shofar because ain't essa doich aloysis of essa. The what is a Yantav is aloysis and essa. So there's a very famous question that everyone asks. The Gemara didn't have to say that because it's only doich as Doich Aloysi is only Be'idna. Be'idna means while you're doing the mitzvah, then, then you know, Lamashal. A Mila. Mila, you're cutting the bris, and the same time you're cutting off the tzeras. The Gemara says, if a baby has on the, on the Aver a tzeras, you're not allowed to cut it off, but there's a mitzvah to cut it off. The S is Doich Aloysi. Or the better Moshe is Klein B'tzitzis. You know, if you're not Torah, if you're wearing a a bag it from linen, you could have tzitzis made out of wool. And even though it's klein, but wearing the mitzvah tzitzis is So the one over there says, you know, we hold, we hold men out. There's many shittas why we don't do that. Some hold that the one didn't want you to do it, some hold that it's only a minik. But I mean, I did, the other showing them hold, you allowed to wear a bag of chill. What's the pish them and put on the wool? Well, that's another mechleik that is showing them. A big mechleik that is showing them. Is at night or yom tov? Well, that's not going to that. It's a whole mechleik in the sugya. Some hold them in the gemara now. To the point is, when I tell you, you're allowed to do it. But because the same time I do the mitzvah, I'm pushing by the loisus. So the the reason is by shoyfer the gemara had a half minute to say because it's a mitzvah sherabim. You know, there's a famous Gemara, I think, Rabbi Gamliel, was Meshachar was it Meshachar Avdoi. Gamliel, you know, famous Gemara, he was Meshachar Avdoi, sent his slave free because he needed a minion. Everybody say, for minion he needed. Yeah. But what did he need for minion? To show him, no, he needed Pasha Zohar, he needed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I will ask, it's, it's not the Idna. So Barabim, when you do it for many myth people together, doesn't have to be. But anyway, so Yontav is a loisisa and is an Esa. Now, let me explain something. A huge machlik is in the Rishonim. So, we all know you're allowed to cook a Yontav. We have a Pasik. Uh, um, the Torah says, Achashi Uchel, Chal Nefesh. But you need to, you're allowed to cook food. So, if I'm allowed to take care of food, there's a question over here. 
Why can I not go and pluck fruit off the tree? And do a hundred malachas. I should pluck fruit out of the tree. I should be able to squeeze grapes, push the machine, make myself juice, any food. Yeah, it's geschmack. So we know that not everything is included. Now that is a huge machlekes in the Rishonim. It's very interesting in this machlekes Rishonim that that the, the Rambam holds it's only the Rabbana, the Rambam's opinion, and the other Rishonim hold it's a Deraisa. The Rajba learns that man al Torah, I'm not allowed to cut fruit of the tree. The, the Rambam holds. Uh, that's only the Rabbanan. For some reason, the Shulchan Al-Kharah passes like the Rambam. He doesn't bring any Why would, Why would be a Rabbanan? So the Rambam, the Rav is going to, oh, the Rav brings it down in a minute. The reason it's also the Rabbanan because most often when you cut things off the tree, you don't cut off for one day fruit. You cut off for a long time. And if you cut, bring it on later. If you cut for after Yontav, you're not allowed to do that. You can do a Malucha for after Yontav. You only allowed to do melucha for yantav. So the chazal, it's one reason. Some rishonim learn because otherwise we, people will be busy cut, cutting the fruit in the, the fields. It goes into a whole sugya later. Well, kaponim, the Rambam holds it's only the rabbanon. The Rambam learns I'm allowed to go to, uh, go to my backyard, plug a lemon off the tree, and the rabbanon you're not allowed to. Okay, let's learn inside. My melucha voida. What is called the melucha? Kol she'ena melucha. Kol melucha she'ena nasa ba'oichel in the food or ba'mashke. If you do it in the food and in the mashke, it's okay. Not everything. No. Ve'ein ma melucha zi tzorich la'chile v'shtiyah. There's no kegon. Shekiva saner wants to blow out an air. Oy shebuna wants to build. Shechufa deik chol ki yoytze bili. That's nothing to do with food. Kol melucha nasa ba'oichel Anything you do in the food in the mashke, kigon. Hakzira, the Rav holds him in Atoida, I'm allowed to go cut all the wheat of the, the f- food, s- the f- uh, field. I'm allowed to do that. The Disha, the Imer, Disha is threshing, Imer is winnowing, the Zira is a type of a hamboider. Um, all the malochas to make bread, balisha to make a dough, fever, shchita, abishal, absida, shchita, all types of tzeda, tzumashishis, kol ili kivisha nasa, begif oichal mashka, you do with the food itself, kishi udam nahanam oichal mashka, nahanam begif amulucha atzmo, so when I enjoy the food, I'm enjoying, I cut the th- apple of the tree, I'm enjoying that cut apple, because I'm eating it. So be kitsa the rav holds menatoyda really when you get to the rabbanon menatoyda anything that you do directly to the food you're cutting your food you're grinding it you're winning it boyder zoyder maraket all these things which is a huge job. But they said you could pick it off the tree? Yes. Menat Torah. Menat Torah. bottom come and said no. No lot? It's all the Rabbanans. No lot only the Rabbanans. Oh. It's only the Rabbanans. So we're going to see Sen in a minute because uh, uh, why the Chazal Asad that we don't do the busy on Yantav. Or you might, let's see later, although the Shem you might do it for after Yantav. So Chazal didn't want you because no one goes out to the field to cut only for now. You go out, you cut whatever, whatever is available. That's the nature. Na- na- the, the, the. Now. See, if you cut, that wasn't for now, probably the Rishonim would have said that you can't. Well, you see later. You say no. I told you, you never see Lloyd Plug. When I told you, if I cut for today, it's okay. Like carrying, right? carrying, you know, we'll see that as a separate aloha of carrying. But let, let's focus first on not on carrying, because that's a complicated aloha, because we're carrying everything with smoothie is meter. But let's, let's focus on food, right? Not carrying. Focus on the what's his name, uh, um, cutting the f- uh, fruit. Even at Torah, you'll have to cut the fruit, but again, eat yantav. If I cut it after yantav, is a machoikas in the Gemara, machoikas. So we pass him, the Rav is going to bring down the Rambam's opinion. That the reason with the Rabbanim, it's also we don't want you to be busy a whole yontif cooking. Yemenei simchas yontif. Um, 
the Bokh Hashem. Today I can't say the Kuk Al Yom to the Bokh Hashem. The Ab Omer that way? Yeah, the Chazal didn't want, they wanted them to enjoy Yom Tov. The Susi, the like, um, food. No, they oh, didn't oh, want. Now, says the Rav, V'chein Havura, now, let me explain what the Rav is trying to explain over here. There's a very difficult question over here which everyone asks. A fire cooks the food, that's true. But to make a fire, that's not making the food. That is called machshire oichel nefesh. Let me give the typical machshire oichel nefesh. Take a machshire even when it talks about sharpening a knife. Once upon a time, every Friday it was a mitzvah to sharpen the knife. The knives were not very sharp, and the knife was a, 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 not very expensive. It was a job the husband had to do. People don't know. The Ramu says, the Kuba Chabas, the husband should make sure the knife is sharp. Shouldn't get aggravated. Shouldn't be, they should be shown bias at home. Lushan <laughs> Ramu. Because uh, knives, you know, most of us, uh, most of us don't. If a knife is not sharp, you just toss it out today. Well, but uh, Akapunim, so the Gemara says to sharpen a knife that's called machshira. Machshira means preparing. And we pass the machshira is not really doicha yomtev. So the Rav is trying to explain the famous question why is not a fire a machshira oichel nefesh? This is a kasha that everyone is trying to understand. It's not, see, I have a fire, I put the food on it. Oh, it's cooking the food. I'm going to enjoy the cooked food now. Okay. If I plug the apple of the tree, and I told you I'm allowed to do, I'm going to enjoy the apple by plugging it. I can't get it without plugging it. The fire is like preparing a knife. Just like a knife is bland, you say in English? Yeah, bland. Bland? A knife is bland. Blunt. blunt, you say. The knife is blunt. You're not allowed to sharpen it because that is a preparation to cut the food. It's well, not that. Yeah, you can have a fire. You can have a fire. You can have a fire. Yeah. If you if you have to, you have to. You have to. That's not an answer. It costs too much money. You're you're, you're saying it's too expensive. That's not a good answer. That's not a good answer if it's expensive. If if let's say the knives will get blunt. That's all the Rabbana. Because when I tell you, you're not making a new fire. And, I, and it's only with the Rabbana that you want you. That's called Noilet, what you were asking before. Making a new fire. That's the Rabbana. When I tell you, you're not making a new fire. Make it. Because when I tell you, making a new fire, adding to fire, the same malocha. Say, you know, on, Sh- on Shabbos, you start a fire, you add fuel to the fire. So this question, how to make a fire, is a question that troubles the Rishonim and the Achreinim. And the Rav how, brings the, this is based on the Mordechai thing. He's going to a- answer this question. Again, you understand the question? It's very important to understand. Uh, uh, can you I'll explain again. A, I'm not allowed to sharpen a knife on Yontif. Why? I need the knife to cut. Because the, to sh- the, 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 have a knife sharpened, that's not going to make the food good. It's, it's preparing the knife to cut food. I'm a lot of chop food. You're not allowed to make toichen. You know what china is in Shabbos. You're not allowed to chop food in tiny pieces. Okay. Can't make an Israeli salad on, on, on Shabbos. You can't chop uh, tiny to tiny piece. You don't have to be to. If I enjoy it, I'm allowed to. But I had to get to it. Uh, no, 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 no. The so the, uh, to pair the food, to prepare the knife. What do you say? Grinding the pepper. Yeah, grinding the pepper is machshira. Because oh, now, well, yeah, that could be. Yeah, yeah, you grind the fed, you know, grind the, uh, you're right, grinding the fed is food. But preparing the grinder, the sharpening the grinder, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. So it, um, preparing the knife, I'm not allowed to. But the chopping, you are. Yeah, so why preparing a fire, I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to add, make a fire in Yontif. The fire is why. Why is this different? This is like, a, as we know in Hilchas Yontav, anyone learns well Hilchas Yontav, this is a troubling question. Why is the fire so different? Uh, different? He says, Right away the Rav addresses this. 
So my commissioner, the Munga Vrom, brings down, everyone asks this question. Af imhile tsoyri chachila, sherei ki mavet eishin be'eitz. Imavash leleyam. It's like a chana. I'm making a fire to cook afterwards. I'm shopping a knife to cut it. I'm making a fire to cook afterwards. It should be not be good, he says. Since the fire literally changes the food, it's not just makes it into small pieces, it changes the food. So the Rav explains, since the fire is the one that makes the food, mamish, it changes the food, the whole essence of the food, so with that the fire has a din as oichal nefesh, not machshir oichal nefesh. That's how he explains it. It's a very difficult explanation, but this is the Magad Mishnah, one of the Rishonim. means the fire literally changes the food. And I've just cut it into small pieces. It doesn't change mamish the food. Bachshir means hechshe, papir. So a knife is called to prepare a knife. Oh, right. To, to sharpen a knife is called preparing something. Right. So, so the knife doesn't change the food, but a fire changes the food. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very difficult question. No, okay. no one disagrees. It's a very difficult to understand the dakas. So what? Yeah, but that's the still not in the food. Some Paiskim, the Rav doesn't go into this, and the Kintas Achen, he does touch it, a long, very complicated, long thing. You know, to know the Kintas Achen, you really have to know Mesechtus Bey backwards and forwards. But the art is showing him, we want to say that, that, Iker Adin, not everyone, the Shem, someone is, you know what, that, I'm going to go into too complicated. The Rishon will explain this, the Rav, the Rai, so that's how they explain it. But a Kapana, the Rav doesn't learn that way. He learns, it mamish changes the food, mamish totally, so it has a din of oichal nefesh, not machshir oichal nefesh. Did you say the same on um, pickling and smoking? Pickling is only even on Yontar, on Shabbos. That's not a deraisa. Picking food on Shabbos is a gzeda uta cooking. We just learned, yeah. Yeah, that's not a deraisa at all, at all, at all. And smoking food? Not that we're going to learn. Smoking food to make a fire to smoke the food. It's not called shubal achal nefesh. We're going to let it learn. Uh, I, I am afraid. To, does a, anyone smoke over here? No, yeah. no smokers? Yeah, you still smoke? No, <laughs> cigar. No, no cigar. Oh, so you're not addicted. You know, <laughs> one of the things... <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> one of, let me just say, one of the <laughs> things that we learn has to be shubal lechal nefesh. You're allowed to do. The Rav threw it in. We're going to see much later. It means it, I'm allowed to cook yontav something, do something yontav, that most people would like. The Gemara, someone just threw smoking food, what you just, you yeah, just yeah. add. Smoking food, the Gemara says, it's not shovel chal nafesh. Not everyone likes it that way. If I were to get to it in great detail. Why is this so negaya? Because nowadays, most people don't smoke. So smoking nowadays, on Yontav is an Issa Daraisa. The only reason, not allowed. Not allowed. you gotta make a fire for food, the lady we can learn that's called metoch. Since I make a fire to cook food, I'm allowed to make a fire for other things. I'm allowed to make a fire to cook food. I'm allowed to make a fire to warm myself, to put up, um, warm the room, or to bathe yourself. But later learn how much you're allowed to bathe yourself till half your body. But it has to be something shovel nefesh that everyone would appreciate. But smoking, since most people don't smoke anymore, so smoking nowadays became an isa deraisa. No, no, no. Nowadays, here, in a, yes, even though we're smoking for forty years, he's a chain smoker. You're not allowed to smoke. What? No, no. Yeah, but I'm saying smoking meat. We're gonna learn. Not everyone agrees. We're gonna learn a whole nafkamina because not shovel chal nefesh. I think what it says, so only certain people enjoy it, not. So you're not allowed to do it. So the same idea is smoking. So they, um, oh, uh, cigarettes, in, and that's so, all, um, maybe most people, say, you know, Israeli, they still smoke in there, so like uh, Persian. In Israel, people smoke like chimneys, like chimneys. Like, uh, uh, go to the last time I was in it, so every second person smokes there. So then it's majority people. Yeah, but here, it's, um, I noticed that less and less people smoke. 
In my shul, only one person smokes, period. Everyone threw away the cigarettes. One in the whole shul? One guy in the whole shul smokes. Maybe there's more next door, maybe. Yeah, that I know. A lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's still not the majority. Still. No, and this, and this meaning, how many people smoke here? Here, no, no. Two or three people. Two or three people from, from 40 no. people? More. What about, what about, what so, about further? I'm saying, so you see, it became less and less. So it's not shovel chol nefesh. Most people who stop smoking don't like anyone to smoke. Don't smoke in front of me. So you're saying that if more people were to smoke, or in Israel, a lot of people smoke. And then uh, it would change. That the would change in Israel, yes. in Israel. But then you said that this was a Torah law. Yeah, but that's what the Torah says it. The so, Torah, the, oh, so the Torah says the that the Torah it's a matter says of majority. married majority. So that, that if nowadays most people do not smoke, you cannot smoke. If most people were like smoked fish, we get to it more interest on sound of smoke the food. They used to not just fish, fruits they would smoke, and everyone would like it. Everyone, you can do it. But Think about it. Talks like, about you, you, can't, mother, you can't light the cigarette, no, or you can light the cigarette. You could it, where in, in Israel? I mean, you light from another from a, another right, fire. Right, right. You can light from another fire. Well, I, I don't think everybody would accept that. Right, that's, that's why I was going to say that's why he's sitting right there. No, no. An addictive, and people are. One <laughs> second. People addictive never like to hear this. So, what, so are they. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're not allowed to smoke. Tell them. They're not allowed to smoke. It makes so much sense. Everyone just learns nothing. If you learn, we just had it after you. I mean, you learn the Gemara, you see it's very clear. It's not a Chiddush. This is not a. No, it's a good, it's yeah. Okay, so, so here, this is like, I hope this is not. But what about smoking marijuana then? What does it make a difference? Most people still yeah. don't smoke marijuana. That's not, not in a certain world. Not here. Yeah, but here, most Florida. people don't smoke marijuana. You, you, have, you, you have to have the stores all over the place. Yeah, but still most people don't. He's talking about your... your Do your, most your, people your, smoke your, marijuana? Your, 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 no. The, the, How much percentage of these people smoke marijuana? I don't know. No, I don't think. 10%. Ten percent. Huh? 10%? Ten percent. Ten try it. No, no, not on a daily basis. I, no, no. I, I, I asked someone. I, I have a guy who sold this, but you know, it's a Shabbos, and he has a few of these stores. And he told me it's not. It's not so. Not so high. It's not. Uh, I think he told me ten percent. Try it. None of them such a high percentage. That the, there are people who are who are regular customers, as they say. I don't know. I just want to say for the record, I have someone who told me that is my age, that he shivers now and he can't play music. Uh, and the doctor told him, because when he was young, he was not religious and he used to play in a band. Every day he would go up to stage, they would, uh, there's a word for it. They took drugs. They took drugs, yeah. There's a, uh, they, uh, what do you say? Get high. Get high on, on, on the cigarette, whatever it's called. And he did it for about three, four years every night. And had a, has a ter he went to a Mayo Clinic and has a terrible effect on him. Because of his marijuana? Yep. But, but he did as young. He hasn't done it for, for 30 years, 25 years maybe. Oh. But he did it every day. And, you know, like, every, you know, this is part of playing uh, rock music. Okay. I'm not here to teach people what to do about... Uh, okay. So he says... I don't use it. No, okay. No, I'm just saying... <laughs> now, the Kibri Chachom and the Baisai, Chazal and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Kibri Chachom and the Kabbalah Oz Gimel, the Baisai. Since you're allowed to do it for cooking, let's say, the Tzori Chachom and the Kabbalah you're allowed to do something that if it's not eating, let's say put it on a fire. You're allowed to put it on a fire, you're very cold. Well, later learn in the cold places, most people want to warm the room. So I'm allowed to make a fire to cook, so I'm allowed to make a fire to warm myself up. That's called I'm allowed to heat the food for eating, I'm allowed to heat the food. A room to warm myself. Or I'm allowed to heat water, not for drinking, to bathe myself. We get later learn certain parts, you're allowed to bathe to half of your body. So you're allowed to warm the water. Since we talk, that's how it works. Um, 
has to be a tzorech mitzvah. So he gives a, a, a mitzvah of eres. So the Rav gives a very good marshal over here, by side. What is a mitzvah of eres? He asked a very, very good question. This happened, this yont of shuas. What happens? Mila shloy bezmana a yont of sheni. Even yont of reshen. Are you allowed to make a mila shloy bezmana? Now listen. What's wrong making a bris? You know which malucha you violate? The tiris is shama. That's shchita. That means the one of the lamatas was is shchita. So what it learns anything that blood loss is a tolda of shchita. So why can't you not make a bris shloy bezman on Shabbos? Because it's a malucha dreisa. But I'm allowed to shecht on yontov and yontov. So the So why don't you say mitoch? I'm allowed to shecht. For eating, I'm allowed to make the bris, even the shleib is manoi. Yeah, it's a mitzvah. So mitoich. If I'm allowed to do it, you know, people don't know this, but in Europe, still here, the only reason why we don't need to do it have freezes. My mother says in Europe, the shoichet used to shech the second the yontem early in the morning for everyone to have fresh chickens. They did once upon a time, no one had a freezer. You know, we, you know, you have to. Pesach. Oh, Depends where. Depends, Depends where. The Hungarians didn't shech Pesach. Right. 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 Depends where. The, 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 the yeah, the, they didn't shech the. Um, they didn't eat. No, I'm sorry. The Yakas, Hungarians did. The Yakas oh. didn't. The Yakas didn't. Who the Yakas? are the Germans. The Germans did not shech because um, there's a reason for it. Because if you find a wheat and the kishkas, uh, all the whole reason. Anyways, I'm going to come back. So. The question is, so why can't you make a British like Bismana? I mean, the, 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 because the Bismana, you're not making a Shabbos. So you're not allowed to because it's not, it's not a mitzvah or a veris. A veris means I could push it off tomorrow, nothing would happen. No, you don't lose. It's not called a mitzvah. Yeah. The, that's a rai from here, the chreinim bring a raya, not the uh, rab doesn't talk about the chreinim, or the gedoy la chreinim, and talk about the bring a raya, that's not called a vira samer, because otherwise, can, why can you make a vira shlebis man on, on, on yontavitz mitzaveres? So the rab calls it in the kintis ach, and that's what brings a point, builds it out. But the gemara says later, you're allowed to warm water to wash a mess. Now, a mess is not a human being anymore. An alocha, we don't consider it human anymore. It's not a live thing, just the body. So why can I warm water to wash the mess? Because it, it's a mitzvah of Eris. Because you have to a mitzvah to bury it right away. And to bury it, part of burying the mitzvah to clean the mess. So you allow to heat water to clean the mess. That means I'm not allowed to make a bris, shloi bismanoi, because it's not a mitzvah of Eris. You understand? You understand it enough? Come in. A bris, wait till tomorrow. It's not the end of the world. Once it's not the eighth day, it's not we in Shekhnurach and Hilchas, but Mila, we always know it's not day to day, it's not the wor worst thing we wait to tomorrow. Follow? We're talking about the first day. Talking about, it doesn't make a difference. Is there more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yom Tov Right, then a Yid could do it. That's a separate issue. A Yid could do it. But you're allowed to, even Yom Tov to cook, to wash the mess. If a guy is going to bury it, Yom Tov Rishon. Does the guy have to cook now? The basket and the eat could cook the water. Why could he cook the water? Mitach, because wait a minute, it's only a mitzvah. It's like the, a, a mess is not considered a, a human anymore, so it's only a mitzvah. It's called the mitzvah of Eris. Follow? Very simple. So he says, Shizman Babi, she gamken was given in Yezev. He should tell us that gives a shuva lechol nefesh with the mizburg. This has to be shuva lechol nefesh, like I gave an explanation. I mean, I ha, the more, uh, uh, let, me, let me give you a good marshal. Toysis shita is, why can you not shower on Yom Tov? You know what Toysis shita is? Toysis is the reason you cannot shower on Yom Tov? Because Yom Tov is, to sh the, 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 most people didn't shower every day. It's not shuva l'chol nefesh. So does that change today? That changed today, according to Toysis. Toysis says, that we'll lay, uh, hopefully we get to it later. We'll get to it much later in the whole sugya about how why it changes. That's why even the Chabad bears in the Kranites was matter to, to shower second day because it's a but according to Toysvis, why are you not allowed to shower on Yom Tov? Because it's people, it, it was uh, hot water talking about, because it, you're heating water. To shower is not Shobar Chol Nefesh. Most people are happy once a week or once in two weeks to shower. Well, I don't know, Yiddish. 
Shove means it's shove lechonev. It means it's a loshnaka. It means it has to be something that everyone wants. The times shove shove equally shava to everyone. Meaning it means it has to be everyone wants it. Everyone wants a cooked piece of meat. No one likes to eat raw meat. This goes back to the cigarette example. Uh, exactly. It exactly. Right. So the times of the Gemara, people used to shower once a week or once in two weeks. So who needs to shower every day? Tosi says to heat water in order to shower is not called shovel chalnafish. Uh, that's a separate issue. We'll get to it. that's a whole separate issue. Those friends who never shower. <laughs> My mother, Zazan Gesund Nishtag, told me down in Europe, people bathed you just to go to Chavez. It wasn't every day. Today, like, you know, most people uh, jump into the shower every day. They can't think, they can't. Uh, some people do it twice a day. Brazil. What did you say? Brazil, it's very humid, don't you? Yeah, but here, here I have people tell me to do it twice a day. Gets up in the morning and it comes in. Uh, if you were, he would wash himself every day. Not it was Ruva, I forget who it was. Anyways, yeah. Mad Vurumida, he says, Kishigif Nahagif Nahana enjoys Mahamalucha Atzma from the work Hanasa the Tsarik Yontov. Kigon. He gives a motion. Shemoitsi Khafutsa Meshisayuk Shisarabn, Shitsurik Rashtashmisha Meshisarabn. You carry something out in Shisarab. Now, let me stop for a moment. Rav is, uh, take, takes for granted we know all this. Why? All of you have young, uh, young children, right, uh, over here. Uh, many of you have young children, right? You're allowed to use with the carriage. You're allowed to go sh- y- onto with the carriage without a native. Forget the native. Why? Because mitoch. Since I'm allowed to take food out, if I want to carry it to the shul, I want to go to a neighbor, drink wine, whatever, food. So I'm allowed to do something, uh, not food, but it has to be I enjoy it. I enjoy walking, and I, need, and I want to enjoy the walk with my child. We'll get to it, the whole arich is how that works. But it has to be, I'm enjoying now. So carrying something out on Yom Tov works with the reasoning of metoch. Again, metoch means I'm not, <coughs> I'm taking out the baby for a walk. I'm bringing the, the, the magza to shul. So why can I do it? Since I'm allowed to do it, let's say, for food, I'm allowed to do it for other things that I enjoy doing it today. I, I need to have a magza in shul. Okay, I want to go socializing. I need to go there. I can't leave the baby home. I need the baby to be there. The wife needs to whatever. That also comes at tzorich. So he says, "Shidah shidah tzorich To light a candle, Rabbi Sai. Why, why are you lighting a candle? To read. Wait a minute. That's not eating. You want to read something. So you're allowed to light, that also it's mitoch. You understand what I mean? Since I'm allowed to light a fire to cooking, I'm allowed to light a fire to read. That becomes mitoch. But it has to be again that Rav says something that everyone would want. Everyone likes to read. But not everyone likes to smoke. But you're not allowed, you're not allowed to turn on the light to read. No, that's because you have to, you don't, you have to take a fire from a fire. Not, you're not allowed to... That's a badrbanan. I mean, yontif. But the Rabbanim did not want you to start a new flame. I have to take a flame from a flame. If you want to light a, a candle, you want to put on the fire on the, on the range, the gas range, you have to take a fire from a fire. Man, I'll tell you, you can put it on. That's what you're allowed to tell a guy. That's why you're allowed to like it. You know, many people have in my, you know, most of you probably also have, you don't have any more, you know, pilot lights. So, uh, you know, my neighbor, they, they have one house shiksas, and the shiksas, I always just tell them to make sure there's no bishalakim. So they're allowed to turn on the light. Turn on the, f- the light for you if you need it, and turn on the fire because it's a I shoes to shoes. Not, shot, not r- correct. Well, what is the source to Shadrachonet? It's a draisa. The word runs it's a draisa. Uh, how does it go to the pussy? Um, the pussy? He the body used to lechem. So, but what is that? What is it lechem? Of course, it's lechem. Has to be something that most people would enjoy. Why, 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 it's like the smoke. Why, why is the rabbi Oscar making you do fire? It's what he just said. It's Rashi learns it's noilet. What Rashi means noilet is a machleke. Some learn it's the famous noilet. Some learn no. It, it, it looks like you're creating something brand new, but it's a derban. It's clearly Rashi says it's a derban. So it's only because it looks like a noilet. 
Yeah, it looks like a rashis. Either you learn a helchas noilet, we'll get to it later, or more simple, there were many achrayim and ashe, you're creating something brand new. That's like, it looks very, very uh, strange. It looks like a tikkun moon or something, you're creating something. But everyone agrees it's only the Rabbanon to make a fine yontuf. So the famous question is, today it's not much in the gear because most people have a digital. So can I, in New York, there was always the question, it gets cold in the sickest, can I turn on the thermometer, that's called thermometer, you know, for the heat, to make it high? Today it's a big problem because it's digital, but if it wouldn't be digital, the old ones, because Yonta will later learn is, 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 is agroma. But the question is without that. If it's really cold, you'll have to turn it on. And Yantav Agrum is made like a but even without Agrum, if it's very cold, Yantav, then it's a question not so cold. But I learned in Shechon because not everyone wants the heat. See, I want to tell you something. It has to be shown that everyone wants the heat. Let's say it's not so cold. I had my own wife, because of her situation, she's always cold now after the operation. You know, it's not, uh, she needs the heat, but it's not really cold at all. Now, most people don't need it. Just saying. So it has to be something shuvel chal nefesh. By yontev, we can learn later big chiddush. Hagroma is okay, yontev. You know, hagroma means causing something. It's okay. It's okay. So, Mamela, when you put on the thermometer, not the digital, the old, it, it old ones, it, ta- it takes a few uh, a minute or so till. Uh, yeah, but when you, when you move it, the mercury moves and there's a spark. Is that fine? It doesn't, no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. If you do it cool, Depend, it yeah. They haven't made it. Unless you move the thing, it's an immediate spark. I didn't know that. I still want to know. So, what's the purpose, though, then, the cause that you're allowed to cause? Because the indirectly is only Madrabana Masa, a Yeshabas Itzasa, a Yonta Vimeko. For instance, one of the famous questions everyone asks can I fill up the urn? Because of the urns, the light, one light goes on, one light goes out. You know, the good old urns. Yeah, this one, the one also has that way. One goes on, one goes off. So you're allowed to do it because it's a groma only. It's not that it happens a few seconds later, three seconds. My own wife, unfortunately, cannot go upstairs. So we have a, a, a chairlift. So it works with the Shabbos mode from Israel. So that means you push a button, and it's a delayed three seconds, and then it goes up. Oh, wait, on Shabbos, that's okay? That's about only for a well, only for, right, okay. for a sick person. <laughs> but uh, that's the, based on the... We all enjoy it. You have to... Well, uh, if it's a danger, I'm talking about. But, but, uh, but that, no, that's very important. It's not considered someone is a choyla. This is very important what he has. And the Rab talks about it later in the, the Mishnah Brewer. that talks about... A choyle is not called shuvel chol nefesh. You don't say, well, anyone in my situation would need it. Let's say, let's say you, someone has an illness. That illness demands to put on the heat. I just say. So we don't say it's shuvel chol nefesh because everyone, you are sick, it's not called shuvel chol nefesh. Well, you have to tell a guy to do it. If you can put on, I'm not allowed to make a new fire for that person. A groom is something else. We're talking about I'm going to start a brand new fire, but some of that is an illness which needs heat. It's not, we don't say we, everyone would have that illness. We say it's not Shavar Chal Nefesh. So let's say, so for that, but for that person it's allowed. Maybe for that person he's not allowed. He has to tell a guy to do it. Okay. He can, let's say a choyli cannot put on the, uh, make a new fire for himself. Unless he's choyli shayz v'skona. We're not talking choyli shayz v'skona. Okay. So, uh, can I just clarification? I have a, um, uh, an urn, a salva, that stays in its Shabbos mode, right? If you open it up and you add water to it, it'll, it'll reboil. That's okay. Ayantuf. Ayantuf. Wow. Okay. We have a, a new one we get in the Taurus. We don't need it. It opens up with a cylinder, but it has a, a mode where, like, they, they really enforce the drama. So, like, they, first of all, the, the, the light doesn't pop on right away. No light at all. They have it has on the other modes, and the light just doesn't go on. 
Yeah, but that's... Yeah. The boiling feature, I guess, it only kicks in after a certain amount of... They sell it at Ataras. Uh, someone gave me one as a gift. I use it on Yomtev, but I'm just saying... You're giving it back for nothing. It's good. You don't need it. Uh, but uh, if there's a delay, then, then the regular drama, and if there's no delay, the regular drama... Right, right. So if it happens drama, immediately... Yeah, but what? Something that has a delayed reaction is a grama. That's the rule of the game. And that's why digital cannot be a grama. Because you know, you digital, your mom's changing the numbers. That's a C, that's a separate problem. Well, the whole oven from, uh, from the start to start the oven. The digital the goes digital, off. But you don't see it changing. Right, that's right. Because and, it, it's, uh, and it's delayed. So because right. you don't see it in whatever. That's, that's right. right. That's Okay. So let's, let's uh, where are we up to over here? So just a couple of things. Ah, well. In relation to the topic of changing the temperature, are you saying that if it's uh, someone's sick and then they need it hot, that's not shut up on that, but at the end of the day, can you say that across the board, people need to, or generally all people like to regulate their, uh, the, 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 the temperature? No. Cold, hot, no, no, but no, no, no. It has to. You're making now a new fire. Let's just say you're making a new fire without yeah. the grama. Starting a new fireplace. Let's just say the good old days. You're making a fireplace, and most people will not put on a fireplace. But you, this person is old. Older people always cold. You notice that yeah. older people always cold. Most older people would. I mean, but that's not culture. The place can be. It's based on a gemara. It's not culture. It's called nefesh. So really, before you do it, you gotta kind of like hold the room. Like, hey, not the room. Sure. Not the room. Not the room, in the general population. Ah. See, I gave you cigarettes. Here in California, uh, LA, cigarettes is not shovel chal nefesh. In, in Israel, every second person smokes. I asked someone in Israel, in Israel recently, he tells me at least every third or fourth person smokes. That's no, it's not true. In Israeli? No? Everyone. Yeah, that's shovel chal nefesh. Everyone smokes there. Everyone, 25%. Yeah, but it, not everyone eats, what's his name, uh, you know, we're going to later. It's a huge population smokes. But that's the point that because of technology, everyone is playing with the temperature. That doesn't make a difference. That doesn't make a difference. Those days, it was a constant No, no, no. Most people did not, would not put it on. The most, let, 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 older people, you know, you know, if you have older people, older parents, and, uh, you know, they're always cold, and they always need uh, to warm the room. Now, not everyone. Most p people who are not uh, 75 years old would not put it on. That makes it not show a nefesh. But later, it's a whole simon. Mama show a whole simon later. Okay. Then he says, If you don't enjoy from the Meluchad, he gives a Moshul. He gives a Moshul. But I'm doing the Meluchad, I'm not enjoying the Meluchad itself. For instance, I want to. Uh, uh, Take a piece of wood that made a spit. You know what a spit is? Spit is you, you, the piece of wood that you put the roast, a piece of meat or chicken on it. So, uh, what do you say? Skewer. Skewer. It's called a skewer. That's what it's called. Skewer. Yeah, but anyway, so I want to take a piece of wood and make it that way. So that's called ticking on it. But that is, I'm not going to enjoy the wood. I'm going to enjoy afterwards the, the, the piece of meat that got roasted on it. This is, that's why this is called machshira oicha nefesh. That I'm not allowed to do, yantiv. So let's say I want to roast a piece of meat, and I need a piece of wood, so I'm going to chisel out, you know, the piece of wood. I, I need a wood to, to, to roast. You can't do that, because that wood, I'm not going to enjoy the wood. I'm going to enjoy the meat that got roasted. That's called machshira oicha nefesh. Kigon shemesak nishelitza v'shen gifen hen gif ha-shpit, eile matzli shenitza boy. Only from the rose. What happens? You chop t uh, tiny pieces of wood. Because in order to start a fire, you need uh, chips. He says. Because anything like that. Even if you do it on the machine, this is called machshira oichal nefesh. Since you're not the end result enjoying the wood. See the fire. I'm enjoying the fire. The fire changed. The fire changed the food, but the wood didn't change the food. The wood held up the chicken. 
the pieces, the tiny pieces made the fire, you know, were able to start the fire, but it's not the wood that I'm going to lie, you're not allowed to do that. That's called Mechshirei Chonefesh. A filler, it's Usa la Sois, but I told you, you're not allowed to do it, Rabbi Isai. Filler, he be Indian, he says, Shuloi ke Yafsi de Hul Gamris, and a Beyonta. What happens? You know, this is what you asked Daniel before. This is another case. Imagine you don't have the speed and you have nothing to eat. Without the speed, I am I'm I'm gonna fast all yantif. Nothing to eat. Mechshiro yichal nefesh is a deraisa. You're not allowed to do that. What do you say? What do you say? Well, yeah, well, that's, that's a question. It's not a shvuz. The shvuz, so you have to judge how much of a tzorich. Yeah, the amount to eat fast, and that's a big tzorich. Yeah, that's good. So, in, in, in the Kintas Achran, he has he explains this. Um, you have time. Let me let me explain this. You know, there's a very interesting gemara. The Vaisai. You know, the gemara, you know, you're not allowed to be intimate with your wife if the light is the light in the room. You have to turn off the light. So the Gemara says there's a net in the room. And you want to be intimate with your wife? So the Gemara says, you can't turn off the light. You can't turn it, off? On Yontif. Oh, on Why, why not? I can, uh, let's say it's the only room I have. And, <clears throat> and to be intimate is a mitzvah. And I cannot do it without. Right. Because it's called machshira oichel nafesh. It's it's not the light. The, it's not by turning off the light makes me the, the in, enjoy the intimacy. I cannot do it, but then the light is burning. It's not it's not like the fire changed the food. It's it's something holding me back. I'm blowing out the candle. Should to be intimate. So it's not. So the Rishonim all ask a question. Now this is the Kintas Achnas a long Arichas. Let me explain the Rishonim's question. Why don't we say mitoch? Now let me explain something. What happens, we're going to learn this later, the fire is too, too strong. Can I lower the fire for the food? It shouldn't burn the food? Yes. You're allowed to. Just like I'm allowed to turn on the fire to make the food. But if the fire is too, uh, too high, I'm allowed to turn it down. So why don't you say, talk, I'm allowed to turn down the food? Shouldn't burn the food? Should I be able to blow out the candle to be able to be intimate? This is a $20 million question. Yes. You're not allowed to. The Gemara says you're not allowed to. So Gemara says you're not allowed to uh, 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 blow out a candle to, to be intimate. So the question is why not? Just like I'm allowed to extinguish a fire if it's going to burn the food, it's too hot underneath. I'm allowed to. But again, so they say we don't say mitoch amachshirim. To we later learn to turn a fire down is a, is a machshirim which Chazal said you could do, because there's no way you could predict this before Yontif. So we later learn that is okay, but we don't say mitoch anamachshir. Because you could have... Nothing, you don't say mitoch. No, 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 no. You don't say mitoch anamachshir. Let's say someone else put the candle. We don't say mitoch, I'm allowed to make the fire lower, not to burn the food, so I'm allowed to blow out a candle to be intimate. You can't. You don't say that, correct? That's you why... You don't make that comparison. Right, I don't make comparison. You, did I make myself clear? Yes. But uh, that's why you can't blow out a candle. That's a whole, a whole gemara what to do. If the candle is burning, the light is burning. That's why today they came out with a new invention, the Shabbos lamp. It's a great invention. So you're not allowed to burn off the candle, but you're still allowed to get intimate? No. no. If the oh. candle is burning, you can't. You, so you can't. It's both. Right. You right. can't both. You can't. So, b'med vur mamirin, you could have done it before Yontif. To make this spid, to what you say, the skew to make this, he says. You know, there was, you could have made this spud before Yontif. So Chazal said, that you could have done Erev Yontif, you're not allowed to do on Yontif. But, there's no way. I gave a marshal. The fire is burning under the under the soup, and it's too high. You couldn't predict this. You know that's the whole trick of a cook. It's too hot. It's not. 
Oh, he's going to expand. Uh, he's going to expand in a minute, and, uh, and he'll get to it in a minute. But let me just focus on something that a fire you can never f- a fire you never can know. A fire you don't know it's too high, too low. It's very difficult. So you couldn't prepare before yantav. So they allowed to lower the fire because it's machshira shiav shalasim erev yantav. No, no, if you, no, no, no. Let's say you're cooking the soup. And you know that this f- flame, it's going to burn the soup. It's not going to cook it. <coughs> then you can lower it down. Lower it or extinguish it? No, extinguish it, then just take the food off the fire. What do you have to need it there? That's, you know, you want to save gas. That's, if I have food there, I want to cook the food. I, I don't step into the kitchen. But I imagine that, you know... Yeah, it's very often, it's still too high, and you right. lower it down. If you leave it there, it's going to burn. It's not going to be good. What do you say? Right. You're right, so you're allowed to lower it to be able to... He says... What are you talking about? That's a, it's a little, little bit sometimes. Big machlekes. Today's a matter of a machshir of sheef shel asoyis made of yontiv. Let's talk about shenish be yontiv like you just asked. It broke a yontiv. A fill of shenish be erev yontiv. Shlo yef shel talk about yom yom machmas eis oynes gudel. Mitna let's talk about yontiv. Shneim yusel lechem dorachem lechol tzerechechem. La machshir sheef shel asoyis made of yontiv. I want to tell you a big secret. Later, the Rav says, don't tell the secret to anyone. <laughs> Machshir is sheef shel asoisa is meir alucha. So what do we just say here? Emeirin But you ask, what happens is broken on yonta? So you, you can make a new speed. Ah, but you want to fix it. Whatever you need. Doesn't make a difference. Same alucha. Fixing and making a new one the same alucha. Theoretical the speaking, if this, are you allowed to? Yes? No, no. Um, no. Uh, Wait, Someone put the candle on yonta. That's a machlekes. It's a big machlekes. That case it means that there's two opinions, arguing. There are two opinions about that. What he just asked. Two opinions. Ran and the other is showing him. Two, two machlekes means there are two opinions about that. You can make a new one, but don't tell the secret to anyone. later on. Because I'm afraid if you're going to say, I'm a, for the public size, that you're allowed to make a spit, everyone will make a new spit. You're not going to realize the reason the, the rabbi says you could do it because it broke. What did you say? Right, the Chazal didn't want it. We'll later get a whole arichas, hopefully, we get there later in the Hochas Yantav. Better, there's no flame. Broke a yanta. Theoretically, you could fix it. Get on, get on your overalls and take out the pliers and just don't. But again, mahalucha ve'emoyin ken. If you come ask the rabbi, the rabbi says, go by, cook by your neighbor. Alocha means you're paskin, but you're not allowed to tell people to do it. If he's the guy that Talmud Chochem learned by himself, knows it, he could do it. Yeah. We have a few times in Shas to check the concept. Alocha means you're paskin. Chazal knew that if we're going to say it, it's going to be. How you say it? Um, abuse. Abuse. What did you say? Like what? No. Yeah. Then the Rav says, This is only talking about machshira means what we just said. Machshira means to make a shpud, something preparing. Again, not something just preparing not a food itself. food itself, not the fire itself. This cholze. I'm saying I mean, only the time you could shop a knife or broke on yonta for the something happened on the oh, 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 something happened on right, right. 
And even that, I want to re-emphasize, you don't tell this to anyone. Let's say, let's say food, you ought to cook any food on Yontif. Even I could have cooked it yesterday. I had nothing to do out of Yontif. I could have done the chickens. There's no problem to cook a Yontif, even if it would have been better, I'm allowed to cook. So uh, let, let me just explain. The Chazal said, that something that will be just as good yesterday making it as today, you shouldn't do it in a yom tov. Should, no, no, should not do it in a yom tov. Like the flour, right? It's not a shima. We'll what do you say? Like grinding flour. Well, you're not allowed to grind flour at the period. No, no. Yeah. Sift flour, you don't such a thing about right. sifting flour. Because you, you can do it beforehand. It's just as good, so you do it beforehand. Right, so right. right. But cooking itself, cooking itself, I will believe it is suffering. Come look at she, she last saw some air of yom tov. There's no loss learned. Something that is just a good Friday to Yontif, that we could have done it before Yontif. Let's say, I don't have a good Moshe. The Gemara says, the Sheikh Anur says to make, um, how's it called? He brings it down later. To make a certain uh, election, whatever, pasta. A pashtida, which is better when it's a day old. Sa'ar, they say it's better when it's a day old. So okay. you should, some of the rabbanim, you're not allowed to do that. So something that Erev Yontav, doing it would have been better for you. You want to do a Yontav, Yontav, you have to make a shin. But something that it tastes better, even though you're not doing this, it tastes better. Because many wives today cook Erev Yontav. But if you don't, you're allowed to cook like Yontav, there's nothing like fresh. Shechting a chicken is nothing like a fresh. Yes. A what? Yes. Yes. It says Levin Shachanor, right? It does say that clearly. Or kick everyone else. How about picking vegetables? We're not allowed to. The Chazal made, we're going to soon see that the Chazal said across the board, can you, even if an apple fell off the tree by itself, you're not allowed to. If a lemon, people have lemon trees in the backyard. So you're not allowed to bring in a lemon. Maybe it fell off. Remember if you learned that you're on Yontif. Even though like it's not totally allowed to pluck fruit from the tree. But pay this on Hashem. Remember if you learned Sertus Beyer, if a fruit fell off a tree, you're not allowed to eat it on Yontif. Not only did they say you're not allowed to plug it off, it fell off by itself. Clearly, the wind blew it off. Then it's okay. Uh, one, one. You can't pick up many because it's a question of another malacha. Pick up another. So you're going to fix it even though you could have done it before Yontif. Only if it broke on Yontif. Uh, Reuven is going to watch you fix the spit. My neighbor is a Gava, is a real chassid. Nice song, fix the spit. I could, for every yontav, I'll fix the spit. It'll be a hard. Yes, no one knows that it broke a yontav, but people pay attention. People only learn the bad things, not the good things. That's the nature of people. Can you go and get this food that's in the backyard for you? No. You're not allowed to eat it. It's not just picking up from the ground. Yeah, the Chazal, it's Noilet, and it's Perish Anoshim, it's Perish Yalavitlosh. Okay, everybody, sorry. We'll stop over here.